I used to do my browsing in Firefox 3.6. Uh, I had upgraded at one point to Firefox 4, and it so ridiculously slowed my computer down that uh, I, you know, I, I couldn't stand it, so I had to go back to version 3.6. And so I stayed with that for a long time. Uh, eventually, I, I upgraded to Firefox 4, and I figured out that what was slowing my computer down wasn't Firefox so much as it was uh, this little program that they have open in Firefox 4 when you play uh, videos on YouTube, anything that uh, requires Flash, Flash video player. And so uh, it's called Plugin Container, this program that they have open to play the Flash videos. Uh, to have it play outside of the Firefox browser. You know, uh, for like all the research I've done, that it crashes people's, you know, computer, that like it, it locks up the whole system. And that was my experience with it when I first started working in Firefox 4, that you know, the, uh, my whole computer would slow down to a standstill, that I'd be sitting there for 20 minutes at a time waiting for, you know, the computer to respond. And, um, I don't know, so obviously it's, that wasn't acceptable, and um, you know, so I decided uh, to figure out how to uh, how to nix the plugin container, and that was easy enough on Firefox 4. And uh, I got a new computer, a quad with a quad core processor, and so uh, just a couple months back I upgraded to Firefox 11. Uh, I had tried 13, I had a bunch of problems with it, so I had to go back to Firefox 11. And that was working on my computer. Uh, recently, uh, they, there was like, every time I would click on any images on Google search results, uh, apparently the, the people who are getting their images to the top of the Google search results, they're uh, for like every term, you know, everything that's like, you know, um, in the news today or, or, or uh, you know, is a, um, is is like a, a highly sought search term uh, you know they they got the the image results for all those to install a virus that every time you click on a, a search result inside Google it goes to like their um, where, where they have signed up to various uh, programs where they get money for you to load their website, you know, that's uh, it's basically you know uh, advertising that they have signed up with, whatever advertisers to sell their products or to get people to to load their web page, and so they uh, you know by certain, clicking on a Google uh, image result, it installs a virus that makes money for them. Every time after that, you click on a Google search result, it goes to the wrong web page and um, I don't know I, I I think that they fixed this in Firefox 14 because when I have this installed it doesn't happen to me every day uh, for like some months there that I had Firefox 11 installed it was happening to me every day uh, I went back to Firefox 4 and it continued to happen to me uh, I don't know so um, the reason that I didn't want to upgrade to Firefox 14 is because it went back to this goddamn plugin container BS where, um, uh, like on Firefox 4 to Firefox 13, you do a search online for plugin container, how to disable, and, uh, the, you know, there's like a very easy solution. You go to, uh, about colon config in your, in your, uh, browser address bar, you press enter, about colon config, uh, it brings you to the configuration screen, there's like a little search box there, you search for dom.ipc, dom.ipc, and uh, then uh, you set all the dom IPC values to false, and that uh, eliminates plugin container. But when you do that on Firefox 14, it doesn't disable plugin container, you're still stuck with the plugin container. So I don't know, I got doing some research today so that I could be able to browse Google without having my computer infected with a virus every day and be able to disable plugin container. Yeah, so my, my computer doesn't lock up every time I play a flash video. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is, um, I'm going to give you the solution here, how it is on Firefox 14 that you disable plug-in container. Um, 
Ahí era... Okay, this was, um, let me see, I forget what search I did to, to bring up this solution. I'm going to go back to the search page. I did a, a search for Vista Firefox 14 plug-in container, because I guess it's um, a combination of being not only on Windows Vista, but also having Firefox 14 installed, that the plug-in container will harsh your system and that you, will, you won't be able to disable it. So, um, yeah, so that, that was a search that I did on Google, Vista Firefox 14 plugin container. I put a space between plugin container. And, um, you know, we got like, uh, this is, um, I think it was the, the top search result, but it brought me to this page on Mozilla's Firefox help site and it says yes it is possible with Firefox 14 to disable plugin container and so I clicked on that answer it says read more and uh, this is what they said uh, they said uh, figure out how to set an environment variable that's a Windows setting of Mose underscore disable underscore OOP underscore plugins and uh, set the set the environment variable value to one and this is how that's all done um, I don't know there's uh, I searched something like environment variable adjust yeah that's exactly what I searched in uh, it brought me to this Microsoft setting environment variables they say go into the system system properties in the control panel and um, a short way to the system properties, if you have like a computer icon on your desktop, you right click it, go to properties. Otherwise, if you don't have the computer icon, which a lot of Visa installations they don't have, go to start, control panel, bring up this, go to system and maintenance, go to system. Go to Advanced Settings. Off to Continue. And you got Environment Variables, this button right here. Click that. Brings up this. You got um, a list of environment variables. Uh, user variables for Dan. System variables. They say that you can put this setting into either of the user variables or the system variables. I'm going to show you where I put it into my uh, system variables right there. Mose disable dot dot dot. That means it's uh, there's like a value out beyond what we see here. And there it is. OOP plugins. And I have the value of 1. So I'm going to opt OK on that. I'm going to opt OK. Oh yeah. Um, for you, what you would do is, uh, because you're not going to have that in there yet, you click New. And then you get the variable name here. So you put in Mose underscore. Uh, let me see, what was it exactly? Mose underscore disable OOP plugins. Um, show you. Uh, this is the box that you're working on when you click new. Mose disable OOP plugins. Uh, variable value one and then opt OK and uh, I already had that there but anyhow I'm just gonna opt OK OK on system properties restart Firefox and then uh, if you control alt delete which is gonna bring you to um, let's see it's gonna bring you to the ability to start the task manager and we got the task manager here. Uh, when you run Firefox again, you should have Firefox. And even though I, um, it, like, if I didn't have that setting set, then plugin container.exe would be here amongst these, uh, amongst the, the processes as an image name. Uh, it would say plugin container.exe because I have a 
I have a video loaded. There's a video on YouTube. So as you can see, I got a video loaded and I got no plugin container.exe, so yeah. Um, uh, beyond that BS, you know, that uh, that sabotage of Mozilla Firefox by the the programmers of Mo Mozilla Firefox to you know, destroy people's computing experience.